Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. And we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about best wrist and grip exercises with resistance bands. That's right, Bob. Bob, resistance bands have been used for decades by therapists, occupational therapists, physical therapists. Not doing anything new. Right, exactly. Except for... The devices that you use have come a long way and make it easier and, and modified better. Modified and yep. improved. Exactly. Well, we are doing a giveaway, Brad, by the way. Oh. We should mention, right? Yeah, okay. We're giving away five massage, well, four massage guns and one handheld massage. Right, look at that. One person gets all five of these. So your Christmas list is going to be taken care of. That's right. You keep your favorite one and give the other four out to family and friends. and Top anybody, four. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> who you want to get on your side for the rest of the year, they'll love you. Yeah. Go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section or go to Facebook and go. To, it'll be pinned to the top of the page. The gun will be pinned to the top of the the post. I always, the post. There you go. All right. All right. Let's get on with this wrist thing because wrist, obviously, strength is so important for everything that you do. It is. You know, if you got strong shoulders and arms and you don't have strong hands and wrists, well. Yeah, it all it, fails right there. Exactly right. Yeah. It's, it's like if you don't have a strong core, you got strong arms. Right. And, you know, the whole body works together. Uh, one thing that, Bob, you want to talk about this a little bit? I'm going to set up. Sure. Sure. You know, to... What people need to know is that we're trying to strengthen the grip and we're also trying to strengthen the wrist. But to strengthen these, the muscles are actually down in here, even for the fingers. They travel all the way down into the forearm on both sides of the forearm. We have the extensors, we have the flexors. So this device or these exercises yep. are focusing on the wrist and a little bit of the grip too. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. But... That way, we're working on the muscles that actually can seriously improve your strength. Right. You know, you can just grab the spring-loaded exercises, right. and they work the finger muscles, but they don't not, do much it, for the wrist. They don't work the wrist. Right. right. So this is a complete exercise. Right. It's going to give you better, uh, pro better you may results. You want to do it as an adjunct yeah. if you want to like still squeeze the ball or whatever, or squeeze the hand grip. Precisely. Yep. It's a good thing to put together. So a lot of people have these bands, the two bands. Right. Okay. Oftentimes with a handle. Now I'm going to show you three primary exercises uh, and a couple options on how to do it. What I'm going to suggest is to stabilize your forearm on a table. Now I just have this here, this uh, stool, but this is about the same height as a table, right, kitchen right. table, firm table. Put your chair up next to it, put your hand over the edge. Now if you don't have a handle and you just have the band, you can grab the band. I've had many patients just grab a hold of a, actually more of a ribbon band or the flat one. Put it around on your foot and you're going to adjust the resistance by how far you put here or in this case i could use two band or, one right, band exactly you can go with three bands here. yep exactly and then i'm going to do flexion now i really typically when you get these tubes you're going to get the handle right. and i highly advise it makes a big difference yeah it's all the difference in the world more comfortable it works as a better exercise um you know and if it slips on your foot what you do is you simply wrap around your foot like that and it locks in really nicely and now i'm not going to i'm going to do this motion but watch the little addition that's really important i'm going to go down and as far as i can i'm going to let my fingers roll open right here and then I'm going to roll up as far as we can. Now you can see what we're talking about here. The muscles that are involved here are in the forearm. You that's, can see them working. That's right. So we're going to do 10 to 15 repetitions. By the time you're done, you'll feel the muscles burning and the fatigue. And then you know it's time to go the other direction. I'm going to put my palm down. Now these muscles, the extensors, are typically weaker and pretty much everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, I know when I finish up with those, I don't get that many reps. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they go to failure pretty quick. So I'm gonna go to one band. You know, you, you do whatever you need to do to vary the resistance, shorten, lengthen the band, and then I'm gonna go like this. And you can see, you know, these muscles are, are working more, and this is 
an important exercise to do because these muscles, like Bob had mentioned before, are critical with the grip and the forearm strength. Now we're going to actually add one more, and that's like if you're going to take your thumb and go up like this. And it works really well with this. Like no, you this. Probably, you think about how many sports grip is involved. Yep. In. I mean, Absolutely. golf, baseball, yep. softball, yep. hockey. I mean, all of them requires that strong yep. wrist strength and a strong grip. Right. And, and including bike riding, you know. Sure. It's not so much road biking, but if you're a mountain biker, grip strength oh, sure. is enormous. You're, you're, and wrestling. Oh, sport. my goodness. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to show you something that we think even works better than this. If you have these, these will work fine. If you want to go to the next step up, uh, you're going to, and you want to save some time and it works better, hey. is we have a grip strengthener. And the person who invented this happened to be a rock climber right. and an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. wanted to, he, he didn't like this grip strength. Right. He wanted something better, more effective for him and, and something that would save a little time. Were you going to say something, Bob? No, I just said it was very important with uh, rock climbing. Oh. I mean, your life depends <laughs> yeah, on yeah. it. It's Especially if, you're not, if you don't have that safety rope around right. you like some people. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to show off my legs. But and, and you're not. Yeah, I know it's embarrassing. But if my wife sees this video, she'll say, what the hell are you doing? Oh, it's a family show. Heck. What heck, the heck are heck, you yeah. doing? So the reason I'm doing it is you can see the bands. If my black pants and this, they just blend in. Sure. So anyways, what you do, with, we got these loops. You may be wondering, what in the world is this contraption? We got a handle that swivels very nicely. Uh, we've got the loops. Now, what you do is I'm going to take two loops and put it around one foot here, two loops around the other foot here, there. And now I get stronger. Right. <laughs> no, you're going to take That's this, maximum. and I, I'm going to grip it like this, and I'm going to do both wrists at the same time. You can get it from this angle, and I drop it down as far as I can. And this rotates nice and smoothly. It really makes that nice. And I go. Yeah, that's a heavy-duty duty handle. I yeah. Mean, it's yeah. metal. <laughs> yeah, that, it, you're going to, you can run a car over it and it's not going to affect it right. at all now if this is too too much i'm going to bring my feet together it makes it easier feet apart makes it a little more difficult if it's still too much you can go out one loop on each foot exactly so i'm going to drop off one loop and now when i use mine at home i go two loops for flexion then i drop it off like this and then these are just in the air and i use one loop and i go out a little bit wider because that works good for me and i extend and I do those exercises 10 times. And I'm not too concerned about my grip strength. I do it for maintenance, for strength, for, it is true, but also just for my wrist. It keeps them more active and mobile, with a little right. arthritis in my fingers. And now to get this motion, like I mentioned on the other one, I'm going to grab it on the, the ends. Hitch the hitchhiker. Yep. Thing. It's like my thumbs are going up, but I'm going to put them down to grip and now, you can go down here, you can come up here. I like to go up here, it's a little more stable. Your th your thighs actually become the table. Right, And right. stabilize, so you isolate those wrist muscles. By the stability. And that really, really works right. <laughs> I gotta go a little, I was showing off. Or you could actually go to one loop on one foot, and that works right. just fine. You just go at a little angle. Um, you can work it like this. A lot this. of strength options. Yep. Yeah. It, it is really a nice device. And if you're going to uh, get serious about long-term grip strengthening, uh, it's a wonderful device yeah, to use. Yeah, like you said, if you're one, in one of those sports where grip is paramount, right. I, I would look at this. Right, right. Well, yeah. like Chris's son, he's a hockey player. Yeah. He uses one of these. Uh, oh, does he? Yeah, it's amazing yeah. I guess, what you do with that. They flip the wrist. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess those. Slap shots are really something else. Right. I, I don't really know what they, they I'm are. I'm not really but... a hockey guy either, so I don't know either. Don't well, know. one way or another, you will. That's basketball. You gotta grab that basketball and hold on to it. Well, I, I, after using this, there's some people grab basketball and pop, pop it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, st strong leg bull. All right. Good luck care. with everything.